In this video, I'm going to show you how to style a shirt like this one and I will also be adding a tie to it. So to start off, you need to give the shirt a structure to be able to fold it. So I would recommend turning the shirt over on its front and I have saved a piece of cardboard. You can just use any cardboard and place it in the middle of the back, just underneath the collar. This shirt is quite sheer and white. The cardboard actually will show through. So in this case, I just have some normal white printing paper or you can use tissue paper. Just place a few of them underneath the cardboard and that will solve the problem of it showing through. Step two would be to fold the sides over and make sure you do them really nice and tight against the cardboard so you get that straight line. A great trick that I'm going to show you is to use some pins for this. The pins will make sure you get a really tight straight line and will hold the shirt in place. So I'm just going to put one pin in there which will hold it and then do exactly the same thing with the other side. Then I will just fold the sleeves make sure they're not sticking out anywhere. And lastly, I'm just gonna tuck the bottom bit up. And here I'm gonna do the same thing, just secure it with a few pins so it's really nice and neat. And you won't see these pins in the actual shot because they will be on the back. Flip it over and you have your shirt really nicely folded on the piece of cardboard. Another thing to remember is to always steam the shirt first. If it comes pre-packed and folded, you can just steam it on this. That's not a problem at all. Otherwise, just steam it on a hanger. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna put a tie on it. I have already pre-tied this uh, tie knot into a half Windsor. I think it's um, an easy knot to tie and it's also really nice and neat as it goes straight across the top line here and not sideways. So I'm just going to go loosen it a little bit, just pop the collar up, tighten the tie a bit and then tuck it under. Then we're going to pull it tighter so it looks really nice and tidy and symmetrical. Either have the knot just straight down like this or you can also choose to do a dimple in the tie which adds some richness and also a little bit of um, shadow that looks very nice and quite formal and then I will just tuck the tie under then I'm gonna add a bit of tissue paper because you can see the cardboard is finishing here and the color is dropping down a little bit so just take your tissue paper just slide it in underneath the shirt make sure you don't see it in the shot and that will raise the color a little bit just to give it that uniform look I think it's really good to show the cuff off um, so the customers can straight away see whether it's a button or a cuff link. So the easiest way to do this is to just pull out the cuff from where I folded it and just place it over the shirt. You can pull it out a little bit more and you can have it at a slight angle. It's also a great way to show the customers if the shirt is long sleeved or short sleeved. As you can see, there's many variations to which you can style the shirt. I personally prefer showing the cuff. Also, adding a tie makes it stand out a bit more and makes it feel a bit more formal. So perhaps for your casual shirts, do it without tie and for your formal shirts, do it with a tie to differentiate between the two on your website.